Welcome to another edition of MCAT Strategy. Today we will be doing a biological sciences mini lecture on neuron structure. So before we get into neuron structure, I will just be discussing some background on biological regulation. Maintenance of homeostasis requires tight regulation of tissue function and activity. And two major systems that are involved in regulation are the nervous system and the endocrine system. And of course the nervous system will be our focus for this lecture series. The nervous system allows for fast communication and is the body's rapid response system. The basic functional unit of the nervous system is the neuron. A representative neuron is pictured below and we will be discussing the structure of the various parts of the neuron. Neurons have many dendrites and dendrites are cytoplasmic extensions that are used to receive input. This information is then transmitted towards the cell body and determines whether or not the neuron fires an action potential. For some neurons, the dendrite branches can be quite extensive and there can be thousands of synapses upon the dendrites all inputting information to that particular neuron. The cell body or soma is the part of the neuron that is very much like other types of cells. It contains the nucleus and other cellular machinery. In the neuron, biosynthesis or the synthesis of biological molecules occurs primarily in the cell body. The axon hillock is a region that connects the soma to the axon and the axon hillock is the site of action potential initiation. The axon is a long extension from the cell body and it conducts information in the form of action potentials. The normal direction of action potential conduction is away from the cell body down the axon. The axon travels and ends in synaptic terminals and the synaptic terminals can branch off and form functional connections to many cells. When the action potential reaches the end of the axon, the electrical signal needs to be converted into a chemical one. So when the action potential reaches the synaptic terminals, they release chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. In the nervous system, the axons of neurons can be myelinated or non-myelinated. Myelin is a fatty insulating substance that is synthesized by glial cells which support neuronal cells. Myelin increases conduction speed and allows the action potentials to travel faster down the axon. The myelin sheath that surrounds many axons is not continuous. There are areas between sections of myelin, and these areas are called nodes of Ranvier. Nodes of Ranvier are areas that are not electrically insulated, and they allow the propagation of the action potential in myelinated axons. The synapse, or synaptic cleft, is the space between the synaptic terminals and the target cells. The neurotransmitters, after being released by the synaptic terminals, must travel across this synaptic space in order to act on target cells. That ends our lecture on the structure of the neuron. And now we have a question to test your understanding. Which of the following are correctly paired together? Click one of the boxes to indicate your answer, or click to view the lecture again. 